Hello friends, welcome all of you. I am architect Sonu Rai from Green Landscape and Architectural Design Studio and today I am here with another video tutorial in Revit Architecture and today I am going to discuss about how we will create ramps with the help of floor on in Revit and in the last video tutorial we discussed about this floor uh, command here in just above the stairs and how we will create different types of stairs with the help of this uh, floor command here. So let us begin. I have uh, selected one building uh, which is of any parking space, multi-level parking space and we are going to create ramps, uh, one straight ramp and one uh, spiral uh, ramp with the help of floor command. So I am going to my this uh, floor level 1 and I am going to select this floor architectural and now I have created this floor, ramp floor and uh, I am going to uh, uh, select this level at 1 and I am going to uh, make one ramp here so I am going to take this along this axis and I will draw one straight line and I am going to enter a uh, fit for any parking space ramp width and length will be same as the axis and uh, I'm going to trim this and so this is our straight ramp and now I'm going to finish this so if you go to your uh, default 3d view it will be just a floor here uh, and uh, then we will require to convert into a ramp so what we'll do we'll select this uh, floor and now we will go here modify sub elements so I'm going to select this modify sub elements and now it will be converted like this in green line dash dash line and some points are here so I have we have to lift this till here this uh, dash line and uh, now I'm going to select uh, this floor and uh, I'm going to select this modify sub element and I am going to select this line and now you can see these two arrows for increasing the height or here it is 0 feet 0 inches you can click and change this height also from here I am going to enter 10 feet and now you can see our ramp is created straight ramps and uh, it is from level 1 to level 2 so you can make easy easy ramp or with the help of this floor also now we are required to place railings here so how we will do this i'm going to my level one and uh, i'm going to my architecture tab and railing and I, we, we are required to drop my sketch one railing here so i'm going to select this and i'm going till this end here and now i'm going to finish this so uh, if you go to your 3d view this is our railing but it is not placed correctly on the ramp so how we will do this uh, this is very simple in a straight ramp so i'm going to select this uh, railing here and now we'll go to this pick new host i'm going to select this pick new host and now i'll select my ramp here that's all this is very easy for straight ramp likewise you can get in the right side of this ramp also same thing and uh, but if you go to your spiral curve ramp you will find difficult to use this method so uh, we will understand i'm going to create another uh, curve ramp here so for a straight ramp it is okay but uh, for curve ramp you will use different methods so i'm going to level one and now i am going to my architecture floor for architectural and now we will get one circle here for creating pathway curve ramp and uh, i am going to take one here and now we will give one offset and this is 10 feet so i am going to select one a ramp of 10 feet so uh, but we have to trim this off this uh, inner part and we'll leave like this one ramp here so 
I am going to my split element. Even if you don't know modify tools, uh, I will make another video tutorial in detail of modifying tools. So first you have to split this line. So I am going to select this split element and I'm, you are required to cut these four lines here. Simple. And now you can delete these lines. And now I am going to join these lines and this line. So uh, after this, you are required to trim these extra lines. Otherwise, your uh, floor will be not found or cramped. So now we have completely trimmed this off. Now I am going to finish this. So this is just like uh, another floor and uh, it is not a ramp now and then again we will use the same method modify sub elements so I am going to select this floor and I am going to modify sub elements select this now you can select this line you can use this arrow also and you can enter this value which is and fit now our spiral uh, curve ramp is created now you are required to place railing here so i am going to level one so this is only half section is showing here so we'll better will use level two draw railing i'm going to my railing and i will use this arc for creating railing and uh, and I will select base level as level 1 here. Apply and now I will uh, use this pick lines. Simply will select this railing here. And uh, now I am going to uh, finish this. And now we go to a 3D view. And again, if I am going to select this and use this new host, it will not work uh, in this ramp so we, we are required to use uh, another method so I am going to sell, uh, use uh, I'm going to edit this railing simply edit path and now we'll go to on level one and we will make another uh, line here for railing and it can be of any size and I am going to use one fit here and now I am going to, uh, there are two lines of railing, I am going to select this first one and now I am going to uh, select uh, this slope by host and height correction I am going to give you this as customize. So I will select this custom and now I am going to enter and fit here and again I am going to after this I am going to select this arc line. And now we will select this slope by host, we will convert it to slope, slope here and height correction will be uh, same. Now I am going to finish this edit mode. And we will wait. It will take some time to create railing and uh, we'll go to our review and you can see a uh, railing is created but this is not from ramp it is from ground level so it is looking awkward so we have to do more settings i'm going to select this railing and now i'm going to this edit type and now we'll go to this cluster placement We'll go to edit and now we'll go to this baluster uh, square 3 by 4 inch. We'll convert this base level from host to top rail. Means top rail will give the height from here. This is top rail and uh, this is host. So I'm going to use this top rail as a base and now we'll from base offset. So we are required to give this top rail offset means how much height you want to give so i am going to take a standard minus 3 feet because we are selecting 
this as top rail and we are required to go down so i'm using negative minus three foot and again uh, we have to come to this uh, uh, downwards and this bluster all sizes uh, we have to select this top element we have to convert all these into top rail element or host into top rail element and all values be negative minus three foot minus three foot and minus three foot apply okay apply okay so and see clearly our railing is created easily and for the first method you can use simple one a pick new host like here but if you use pick new host in this curve ramp it will be not found so you have to use this method for creating curve ramp likewise you can get another railing this side so i am going to level 2 again and i am going to architecture tab railing and now we'll uh, pick this line and I will again make it this level as level 1 and now uh, finish this and you can see you can go to like this uh, railing and edit path I'm going to level 1 now and I will draw same line and fit here now I will select this line and uh, I will make this custom here, height correction, 10 feet and I will select this arc line and will go this slope, slope. And now I am going to finish this so I am going to my 3d view and now you can see very nice railing is created and already I have done setting minus 3 feet for this railing so no need to make another setting for this railing so uh, after this you can make multi-level car parking also by selecting this uh, railing you can select uh, this railing here and you can go to copy to keyboard paste align to selected level and you can go likewise level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5. Likewise, you can create. So, you can create uh, interesting uh, spiral curve ramp for the parking space. You can use floor command also. And in the last video tutorial, we saw ramp command. So, this is a very handy in while creating your project. So, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel. We'll, I will come up with very nice video tutorial again.